Hey everyone, this is David at Finish Line Factory, and I'm here in Wynwood in Miami for Art Basel. And I'm actually just walking around the street right now. So I'm on the way to Supercar Rooms, which is just behind me. And uh, they're having this art gallery displaying some of the art for um, Ferrari. So I'm gonna check some of that out. And I'm also going to walk around Wynwood and see some of the cars. There's a lot of uh, car related art exhibits. So let's go check this out. All right, let's see what's going on over here. Holy crap. So this is some kind of Ferrari sport coupe, I'm not sure. I'm not too familiar with this model. Right hand drive, look at that. Look at this, the spare tire is inside the car with you. And it's just strapped down with leather straps, look at that. There you go, there's a the glove box. And over here is a small Ferrari Roadster. So here's the trunk, it's uh, most of the body panels have been removed. There you go, that's a, looks like that's the fuel tank. Over here you got the fuel filler cap. Oh, oh, you know what? I think I know what this is. I just can't put my, my finger on it. Uh, up here, Ferrari V6, inline thro uh, independent throttle bodies on the three carburetors. There you go. Look at the craziness on this, this distributor. And uh, looks like the paint and Bondo have cracked and separated. I mean, just left it like that. I think they call that patina. There you go, four speed manual. This is awesome. And this looks like a bare chassis. So I know the Ferrari recently released that new Roadster. Let me see. Oh, this is a 1962 Ferrari 196 SP, bodied by ATL Italy. Okay. I know the Ferrari recently released that new two-seater Roadster, so this is kind of a kind of a throwback to that era. Look at that. Only the driver gets a headrest. If you're a passenger, well, well, you're on your own. Over here, it looks like it's the same, similar chassis, but it uses uh, this buttress here. Look at that. And you see the tube frame underneath. All right, and here we got a uh, looks like a classic Maserati Roadster with another four carburetors. I mean, geez, two carburetors on each cylinder, independent throttle bodies. You know, best for uh, throttle response. Over here, look at that. Oh, this is beautiful. Classic Maserati uh, colors, blue and white. There you go. Wire spoke wheels and uh, fuel filler cap back here. This is beautiful. They don't make cars like this anymore. All right, let's head over here and see what else they've got. Let's see. Looks like we got 246 Dino in silver. I've seen one in red and one in yellow, so this is the first one I've seen in silver. Uh, we've got a... Not quite sure what this is. Let's see if we can figure it out. This looks like a Desimaso Pantera. Is this a... Pantera? Uh, yes, it is. There you go, you see the uh, the Pantera air cleaner over there? Well, you can't really see it. It's, I'll try to edit it. There you go, you can, can kind of see it. It's kind of dark, the window is tinted. But over there is a Ferrari Testarossa in white. There you go, Miami Vice white. All right, so I'm right outside Supercar Rooms before I head out. We have an SSC Ultimate Aero Twin Turbo, 1,287 horsepower, and at some point was actually the fastest car in the world. So that'll uh, give your Veyron Super Sport a run for its money. Then over here we got a McLaren MP412C. Looks like a 458, a uh, 458 Spider, I think. Is that, is that the uh, official model name, 458 Spider? And we got a California. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna check out some more of Wynwood. I think there's all kinds of different um, different events going on. Some car related, some art related. So let's go check that out. All right, so that was awesome. So that coupe that you saw there, uh, I looked up some information on that car. That is called a 330 GT Speciale. 
the car with you know the, with the, uh, the spare tire in the inside the cabin. So that car is worth somewhere between three hundred and five hundred thousand dollars. I couldn't really get some uh, some good information on it, but I want to come back and uh, ask him a little bit more about this car. But I'm gonna go and uh, walk around Winwood real quick, check out some of the cars, and you know see what I can find. All right, and uh, so begins the process. So my general philosophy to going around to shows like SEMA and Winwood is to just kind of wander until you find something cool. So I'm just gonna walk around the streets, walk through the different exhibits, and if I find something car related, uh, I know that for a fact there is a uh, a plastic dipped Bugatti Chiron. Yeah, there's a plastic dipped Bugatti Chiron in here. There is a, I think it's a 600 LT, and a bunch of other really cool cars. So uh, whenever I find something car related, I'll post it up on the blog. So let's get started. All right, here we go, here's our first car. So this is a Lamborghini Urus and it's being drawn on with a permanent marker, the entire car. Look at that. Actually, you know I think the car was zoomed in a little. There we go. Look at that. So over the course of these few days, this man is going to draw on this entire car. SUV, whatever you want to call it. Hey. There we go, 600 and something odd horsepower, twin turbo V8. Actually, I think they've raced this car. People have raced this car and they found that it's about as fast as a Huracan, which is incredible considering this is like a 5,000 pound SUV. It's pretty freaking cool if you ask me. Oh man. And check out the other side. So let's say this is probably being uh, commissioned by Vossen. As a matter of fact, if you look at the wheels there, well, they're Vossens. So there you go. Lamborghini Urus, the entire car has been sharpied over. Type, one of the most beautiful cars ever made. And here it is in convertible form. All right. So this is the E-Type 4.2. With automatic transmission. There's classic steering wheel. Roadster seats. No headrest. And uh, no seat belts. You're entirely on your own. Classic Benz 220S. Roadster, MG. I'm not sure which MG this one is. But it's pretty cool. It's got this long, sleek hood. Uh, so same thing. Vintage, no headrest, no seatbelt. Just hold on to the steering wheel and, you know, don't let go. And over here they have a guitar room, so how's that for, uh, how's that for unique? Coming back here, Porsche 911. As well as, uh, looks like this is a 911 Turbo Cabriolet, perhaps. Another classic 911, looks like a 964, perhaps. Let's see. What's I right about the turbo? Yep, there you go. Yep, when you get when you see this big whale tail wing, that's how you know it's a, it's a turbo. But this Turbo Cabrio, there you go. Check that out. All black interior. I'm not too fond of the uh, of the pedal arrangement on this car. Um, they're actually very off to the right, close to the center console. So you're kind of like, you're sitting here, but your legs are going off that way. And I think it's kind of weird. But anyway, moving on. 550 Marinella in Giala Modena. There you go. This is pretty cool. A friend of mine has one of these. Oh, this one's all manual, okay. You know something, I think, let me see if this is a, I wonder if this is a 575M. No, I think it's a standard 550. Okay. It's still a very good car, V12, 5 valve per cylinder. Uh, what else we have, what else we have? Oh, we got a Mini Cooper. Classic Mini. 
Got the, uh, the rally headlights down there. And a classic Stingray Corvette, non-split window. Okay. Automatic transmission. It's pretty awesome. And finally, at the very end, we've got a, hmm, I'm not sure. What is this? What is this? If you know what this is, stop the video right now. Post it in the comments. I'm not really sure what this is. I really want to know. I think maybe it's a Buick or something? Let's see if there's a badge on the back. Probably going to buy this. It is a Rivera. I think it's a Buick Rivera or something. It's pretty sleek. Oh, there you go. MSD ignition. We've got a large carburetor, MSD carburetor actually. Hey, is this uh, is this your car? <laughs> What's up, guys? <laughs> is this your car? Uh, I handle all the cars here at Walt Race. I handle all the cars here at Walt Race. Oh, okay, you handle all the cars. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. So, what is uh, what, what what are we looking at here? Oh, this is a 1967 uh, Corvette Stingray with the numbers matching 327 small block V8. Oh, awesome, awesome. Numbers matching V8. It's kind of rare these days. They've got this collection of, let's see, they have effects boxes. They've got huge wall of classic guitars. I imagine they're all vintage guitars. So I'm, I'm not much of a guitar aficionado. This one's going for 950. I guess it's for sale. I uh, don't have a single clue what I'm looking at, to be honest. But I imagine there's some, uh, some pretty cool stuff here. Look at that. That's pretty nifty. All right. Classic BMW motorcycle. Uh, it has the M Power badge. I'm not really sure how that fits into the BMW motorcycle world. Uh, but it's got some cool stuff here. So you got the, looks like Brembo, Brembo brakes here. Yeah. Ah, yes, it's a, it's a brake cylinder. Master cylinder. We've got some nifty handlebars. This is really cool. BMW motorcycle. Got the caliper up here. Air-cooled boxer engine. So Subaru's not the only guys making some boxer engines. Pretty nifty. All right, guys. So I've been walking around. There's a shit ton of people here. I mean, look at all this. There's a lot of people out here. But uh, I think the bigger event, where there's gonna be more people, more cars, is uh, is Saturday evening and Saturday night so I'm gonna hop in the car and uh, you know I think I might hop over to South Beach and see what's going on there yeah now don't get me wrong I mean there are there are definitely probably cars out here to, uh, to check out but I just can't find them they're just kind of I don't know if they're scattered around or if their owners took them home for the night um, I couldn't find the Chiron, unfortunately. I gotta try to get in touch with the owner. Uh, but, but I'm pretty sure I'll find something cool out on uh, South Beach, some South Beach cross spotting. Jack it up. Alright, so I'm at the JW Marriott Marquis. I saw an 812 super fast coming in, but I couldn't quite park. Let's see what do we have. Uh, let's see, a Rolls Royce, a one Fuchsia Rolls Royce, okay. And let's see, 
a Fuchsia McLaren 720S and a, and a Senna. There you go. All right, so I parked and I'm over here checking out the Senna. So this is exposed green carbon. Actually, you know what? This is the first Senna delivered in America, I think. Pretty sure this is the spec. So exposed green tinted carbon. All right, check this out. It's got carbon ceramic brakes with the uh, chrome wheels, center lock. Uh, oh, nice, it's nicely specced. It's got a white leather interior and the carbon bucket seats. Look at that. So it looks like you opted to have the, the wing is also painted, or well, colored. It's not really, it's not really painted, it's more like a tinted. So the carbon is actually tinted at the factory. So to have it in exposed carbon is an extra $500,000 option. So to have it in colored exposed carbon, I don't even know. This is freaking nuts, this is awesome. Over here is the Fuchsia McLaren 720S. Back up a little, get that. Look at that. With a matching Rolls Royce Ghost in the back. So this car also has that white leather interior, which just looks stunning, especially against, contrasting against the Fuchsia. There you go. That's nice. And looks like the uh, the Rolls Royce. I think it's the same uh, the same spec. Yeah, all white leather on the inside. With a uh, Fuchsia on the outside. That's pretty nifty. All right, and over here is a, is a blue Rolls Royce. So a couple of small details on the Senna that you don't normally wouldn't see. So if you look down here, if you look here at the lip, it's got these small bolts on it. This is so that the lower lip, in the event that it's damaged, let's say you're coming out of a a steep driveway or something, if it gets damaged, you don't have to replace the entire bumper, you can just replace that small section down there. I'm sure it's still expensive, but not nearly as bad as replacing, you know, all this, considering that it almost appears to be one piece. Alright, so this gentleman is going to start the center for us. Let's go ahead and uh, check that out. Let me flip the microphone around. Mm -hmm. 